All right, good morning, everyone. Happy New Year to everyone here. So we are already in the second day of 2021. And, uh, you know, for most of us who are starting a new year, we know we have new resolutions. So if your resolution this year is to start to eat healthy, All right, sorry, the camera is a bit shaky. So if your resolution this year is to eat healthy and stay healthy, you're in the right place. Uh, you're exploring something which could help you to do that. And uh, we are here today to explore the thermomix together and how it has helped us tremendously well at home in our kitchen um, with our daily cooking needs. Okay? So this is the start of your journey and we'll be sharing a number of recipes with you to illustrate the functions of the thermomix and how you could easily use it at home as a wonderful kitchen helper. So I'm sure all of you agree that cooking at home is very important, especially now in the current pandemic condition. And uh, you know, when we cook at home, there are a few things that you would consider, right? So for example, for some of you, would you consider cooking at home, um, you know, looking for recipes that would be able to help you save money? For example, bringing quality, restaurant quality food to your home, of course, you will save a lot. Yeah, and if you can recreate that, you know, it's wonderful. And then a reliably easy recipe over here. So recipes that you can conquer yourself and do it whenever you want to. And Thermomix gives you precisely that, okay? The other thing is a lot of people like us, with families, even ourselves, the most important thing now is health. Nothing goes beyond that and nothing is even more important than that. So when we talk about healthy cooking, healthy eating, we're talking about being able to know what kind of ingredients we put in our cooking. So when we eat out, we simply cannot control that, right? So when we eat out, things like MSG is added, you know, the type of oil that they use, or even back in the kitchen, you know, do they even really wash the vegetables? We cannot control that. But when we do it at home, we can. Okay? So we can put in all the good and eliminate all the bad ingredients and leave them to outside. Okay. The other thing that we constantly struggle with is creative cooking. When we have even ourselves thinking about what to eat, what to cook every day, can be a challenge. Yeah? So in Thermomix, I'd like to share a wonderful news with you. We have 65,000 tested recipes that you can have them in your hands and you can search for any recipes that you want. So it will be a lifetime of exploration for you, whether you want Asian recipes, Western recipes, you know, going from French, you know, Italian or American or even Asian, like Indian cooking, Malay cooking, Taiwan, Taiwanese recipes, you know, China recipes, they're all there for you to explore, explore and it's really wonderful. So you have endless, endless ideas in your daily menu, okay? And the other thing that we are, of course, looking forward to are recipes that are time-saving. And uh, we know now we are all very busy. So we want to have recipes that we can create fast, easy. And after that, you know, cleaning is a breeze for us. And that's where Thermomix is going to help. All right. So a bit uh, about our background, we are under a German company called Forwag, and um, this company, we have been around for 130 years. We are present in 80 countries all over the world, okay? And over the years, we have also won many world-recognized uh, awards. So these are all the awards that we have accumulated over the number of years, okay? And when we talk about Thermomix itself, a lot of us like yourself may wonder, how long has this product actually been in the market, right? Some say, hey, I think I've only heard about it a year ago or two years ago. I, I like to share this piece of information with you. Thermomix has actually been around since 1960. So, and over the years until now, 2019 was the latest model that was launched. Um, it was the TM6. So you could see how it has evolved over the number of years. And, um, you know, until today, it is still the world bestseller all-in-one kitchen machine. And every two minutes, you will have a new home starting to use at the moment. Okay, every 23 seconds, you will have a new home 
starting to use the thermometers. Now, this time, the thermometer will be sharing with you all the appliances, the accessories, uh, the side accessories that we'll be using during our cooking. On the top, you will have something called the Baroma. Later, you'll see us using it to steam something. And then you will have the splash guard for high temp. Okay, moving downwards, there's the MC cup, the uh, cover lid to cover the bowl, and um, the simmering basket to help you cook rice, to help you filter food. You know, it's a wonderful accessory. And then the bowl, 2.2 liter bowl, where a lot of uh, processing will be happening in the bowl, whether it's blending or cooking, it will be in the mixing bowl. And uh, of course, the most important thing is the technology that is built in the motor of the thermomix, the core engine, it is built with frictionless motor, right? So with the frictionless technology, there will not be heat generated. So you can blend and blend over and over without worrying about overheating. And you can continuously cook for hours, okay? With no problem of overheating. And um, the other thing is the power of the machine. It goes up to 10,700 rotation per minute. So this is how powerful the motor is. And a lot of us, of course, we are attracted to the TM6 screen, which is a color screen and is also a Wi-Fi enabled uh, thermomix now, okay? So how do you own the thermomix? We have three options for you. Um, the current price is 7188. So now we do have a 200 ringgit voucher that you could immediately enjoy, um, bringing the, the price down to 6988. And you will also have financing option up to 24 months, working out to only nine ringgit a day, you know, in this current economy condition, what can you get with nine ringgit a day? Yeah? And this is what you'll be able to enjoy the thermomix, okay? The third options are for those of you who may already own the thermomix, for example. And uh, you like what myself, Pimping is doing, you like what Sunita, Esrin and Olivia is doing, right? Feel that it is something you can you can also explore for yourself. It's a career that you can join us, and you could also win yourself a free demo unit for your for your career and for your sharing. Okay, so if you like this, you can always contact your advisor who brought you here today, and they'll be more than willing to share with you. Okay, once thermomix does it all, what does it mean? You know, before the thermomix was invented, for example, I had a lot of this in my kitchen and that's very normal because it is before thermomix right so if i want to blend something i need to have a blender yeah and uh, to make steaming easy that i don't need to watch for timing and water i invested also in the steamer so i already had two different appliances at home and then if i want to whip up something i would get a mixer okay so now i end up with three four if i want to cook rice and a rice cooker Okay, and then if I want to mince my meat, I get a mincer. I want to make bread, I get a bread maker. Ice cream, I get an ice cream maker. Right? Do you have all these equipments at home? I'm sure most of you do, yeah? So at least five, six, seven different gadgets at home. Now, can you imagine having all those put up on the kitchen top? Can you do that? It's impossible, right? You'll be very cluttered, you'll be very messy, and you need a lot of cleaning. Now, this is what Thermomix is. It represents all this. Making your kitchen really clean and sleek and making your cooking time and preparation so much easier. Okay, so it is just like our yeah. phone, our smartphone. Okay, now let's um, it's a perfect kitchen partner whether you're cooking for one person, you can cook as little as half cup of rice. All right, so a lot of students are in fact bringing them to cook in the dormitories, especially now, and it's also a wonderful. Starting cooking appliances applies for newlyweds, for new couples, for new homes, right? Where you start with one thing and as the family expand, when it's baby, there's baby, it becomes the baby food processor. When the children grow up, you will have a variety of things that you want to whip up. For example, cookies, cakes, ice cream, it's already there for you. The thermomix is able to cater for all the family growing needs. And for the golden years, of course, it is really, really good that they can still cook without having to stand and uh, cook for hours. The Momix helps them to do the cooking for them. And at the same time, they could still eat quality, healthy food. Right? So let's start with something, a recipe that shows you 
something very easy that you can wake up every day. And I'm going to start with uh, Sunita. Sunita is going to share with you some wonderful morning recipes. And I will spotlight the screen to her. Okay. So just a minute before Sunita starts, I'm going to spotlight the screen. Good morning, right. everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, can you hear me clearly? Yes. All right, great. So we're going to do a non-alcoholic ginger beer today. And the recipe is actually in Kopi Do, and it's in German. So I will tell you which one to look for later, but we're just going to go ahead and start cooking. Okay, so I need 140 grams of brown sugar. So the sugar is entirely up to you. You can actually adjust the amount. Two lemons that I have already uh, <coughs> peeled and removed the seeds. and 50 grams of ginger that has been thinly sliced. Okay, so we put the measuring cup back on. And for 20 seconds, we're going to blend this at speed eight. And if you can see, it's actually blended really, really fine inside. And it's 300 grams of mineral water, but I'm actually using carbonated soda water. it back on and just four seconds on speed eight. Okay. So now we're going to use the simmering basket, put it in. So this will now help to strain your liquid. But I've also got a finer strainer here because I don't want any of the ginger bits in the drink. It's a really, really thick concentrate. So you can make this, oops, you can make this and leave it. You can make this and leave it for a bit. All right. and add the remaining soda water later. So I'll show you the finished product in a bit. I'm just gonna quickly wash my jug before I go on to the next recipe.
Okay. So what else can you do with this function? You can actually, we also have something called a turbo function, which you can use. And you can actually use it to blend your sugar, your coffee, your almond, and you can also make amazing lemonade. All right. So we're going to go on to the next recipe, which is Okay, so I'm going to tell you about something called cookie dough, which we have on our TM6. It's built in, and it's the recipe platform for Thermomix. And currently, we have over 65,000 recipes on cookie dough. So cookie dough is very, very useful because... I'm just going to finish this off. Okay, so cookie dough is very, very useful because you can actually find the recipe. So I've already selected the recipe that I want to do for the bread. So it's under my week for today. And it's Hawaiian bread rolls. So we're going to do the kneading function from the Thermomix. So I'm just going to go start cooking. And put in... 230 grams of pineapple juice. So I'm doing half the recipe, so it's only 115 grams. Because it's a lot of bread. So 90 grams of milk, I'm only going to do 45 grams of milk. Okay. 90 grams of caster sugar, which is also 45 grams of caster sugar. And 40 grams of unsalted butter. So always keep your butter cold from the fridge and it's just been cubed. So it's just 20 grams of butter. Put the measuring cup back on. And because we're using a guided recipe from Cookie Doo, it is automatically set for you. So you don't have to worry about the time or the temperature that you need to use. It's preset for three minutes at 50 degrees. And it says turn speed selected to speed two. On the TM6, on the speed mark, you can actually see it's slightly darkened in green and that is where you need to turn it to so that is speed two and now it says grease a large bowl with unsalted butter because this is where you would remove your dough too so i have i always use my um tupperware bowl and it's actually got like a non-stick finish so i don't have to grease it and it's great for proofing breads because it also has a lid. So you can use any bowl, any glass bowl, but you would need to grease it first, all right? So what else can you do with the kneading function while it's warming up the yeast and melting the butter. You can also do your own pasta. You can do amazing breads in your Thermomix. You obviously will still need to bake them in an oven. You can do your own fish ball at home and you can make your own pao or mantao. So the possibilities are endless with the Thermomix. You can actually do so many things with the kneading function that um, I love baking. So I make a lot of breads and um, pizza. So if you have children at home and they like making pizza, you can actually have them help you make your pizza and add whatever toppings you like. All right. The homemade fish ball is amazing because it's um, really, really springy to the touch. I have made it and you know exactly what you're putting into it. So it's really, really healthy as well. Okay. So we've got a minute to go. 
So it is now, it is now um, warming up the butter because the butter was cold from the brick. And it's very important when the recipe says unsalted butter, make sure you use unsalted butter because we are adding yeast into it shortly and we don't want the salt in the butter to kill your yeast. All right, for those of you who are not familiar with using yeast, please ensure that if you buy those vacuum sealed little packets of yeast, like these ones, these are about two and a half teaspoons. Once you open them and use what you need, just fold them, put a rubber band and keep them in your freezer to keep them fresh. Because um, if you keep it outside, your yeast will die. And the next time you make bread, your bread won't rise and then you will be wasting all your ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna go next. All right. So three and a half teaspoons uh, dried instant yeast. So I'm doing half the measure. So it's only seven grams. All right. And then put the measuring cup back on. And this is just to give the yeast a quick mix. Okay, so here it says turn speed selected to speed four. But I found, I actually made a batch sheet last night and I found that when you turn it to speed four, it comes all the way up to your lid. So I'm just gonna do it up to speed three because you just want it to mix anyway. So it's just 20 seconds to give the yeast a quick mix into the warmed up uh, butter and sugar and the juice. And then we go next. Okay, so it's one medium egg. Okay, so I'm just gonna use half an egg. One medium egg is about 50 grams. So this is about 25 grams. Right. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract, so half a teaspoon. Uh, I'm omitting the ginger because I don't like ground ginger in my breads. So I'm omitting that. So I'm going to put the cover back on, the measuring cup back on. And it's going to now mix for 10 seconds at speed four. Again, I'm just going to go to speed three because I don't want it to splash so much up on the lid. Okay, so it's um, 560 grams of strong white bread flour. So half of it is 280 grams. So this is high protein flour, which you can get uh, from any of the big supplies shops like Big Big Yen, et cetera. Okay. So half a teaspoon of salt. So you will always notice that they will ask you to add the salt after you have added the flour because you don't want the salt mixing with your yeast. Okay, so insert measuring cup and it's going to now knead for three minutes. Okay, so when you do general kneading on your own, I'm wearing all black, so I don't have any flour on me and I don't have to sweat trying to knead it. The thermomix kneading function, basically what it does is it spins your dough five times clockwise and then one time anti-clockwise, all right? So this means that it is mimicking what you would normally do by hand, where you would knead the dough and then you would flip it to get it to the texture that you want. Something like this would normally take you about 20 minutes of kneading by hand. In the thermomix, it's only three minutes, okay? 
So the thing to note is that when you do use the kneading function, if you have larger amounts of flour inside, your machine will tend to move a little. Don't worry, that is quite normal because that's the power of the motor kneading your dough, okay? The only thing to remember is when you are doing something and you are kneading something, do not leave your thermomix unattended. All right, so make sure you're close by. All right. So while we're waiting for that, I'll show you the bread that I made yesterday. And the reason I made half the quantity is because with half the quantity, this is 12 rows. All right, we're going to be stuffing our faces with bread. <laughs> today. So that's why I decided to do half. If you do um, the full quantity, the recipe actually says to divide into 12 rolls and it's very big rolls. So I would suggest you do half. Each roll, um, when you're dividing it, it's about 44 grams if you're doing half the quantity. If you're doing the full quantity, you will actually get 24 rolls. All right. So we've got another 40 over seconds to go. And I will show you. So this dough might be a little sticky. All right. But don't worry about it. Because the recipe does say to add a little bit of flour if you find it sticky. But I normally don't like to add any extra flour because it makes your bread a little bit harder. So the trick to it is that when you take it out, okay, so it says add a little more flour if the dough is too sticky. Usually so the, I like to add a little bit. Yeah, if you can see it's so clean. Usually yeah. And it's not, it's just slightly, it's just slightly sticky. Yeah. But what I find with this dough is that when you take it out and you put it into the bowl. Okay, so I'll show you what I do. So I normally just take it out. So to take it out, I can remove the back and the whole blade comes out. Right. Can you imagine having to do this by hand? What kind of mess you'll be facing? Okay, so we've got the whole thing out. So even though it is a little sticky on the blades, it's not too bad. Because what I find with this particular dough is you just have to work it a little bit and then it's fine. So I generally don't like to add more flour to it. All right, so what I do is if I just take it out. So you see, if you just, it just needs a little bit of working with your hands and it doesn't stick to your hands anymore. So the dough is warm and you have to just roll it into a ball like that. And once you've got your ball going, it's fine. It's not sticky anymore. All right. So then I just, Put it in here and it needs to proof for an hour, it needs to proof for an hour. And then after the one hour is up, you have to divide it into your 12 rolls. And then it needs to proof for another hour. And just before you put it into the oven, you have to brush it lightly with melted butter. So obviously we're not gonna have time to do that, which is why I did this to show all of you. And this would be your finished product. Okay, so I'm going to hand this off now to Ezri, who's going to show you the next recipe. Okay, hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes, I'll make it. Okay, uh, okay, my name is Ezrin. And today I'm cooking milk and butter chicken. 
Okay, so what Sunita did was a recipe from Cookie Do. What I'm doing now is recipe that I will cook manually. Okay, so manually means you have to set the time yourself, the temperature, and also the speed. The speed, even if you use Cookie Do, you have to turn to start. Okay, so with Cookie Do, they will set the time and temperature so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, they will also set another button called the reverse button. I'll go into that uh, in detail later. Okay, so this recipe, um, you can ask from the advisors who invited you today, but uh, this recipe came from our Father's Day uh, cookbook, uh, I mean like a PDF recipe book. Okay, so it's very easy. Okay, all the ingredients today is something that you always have at home. And this is my family's ultimate favorite. We, we make it almost, I think, every single week. Okay, because you just need garlic evaporated milk, a bit of butter, okay, this is salted butter, sugar and curry leaves and uh, chili padi if you like spicy. And of course your chicken, okay, so we have five steps today, but I've done the first step which is marinating, okay, it says actually the recipe says you can marinate and then you can go along to your second and third step, but I like to marinate my chicken longer, so I've been marinating this for an hour already, okay, so what's inside here is soy sauce, fish sauce, and dark soy sauce, okay? So first step, we are going to blend the garlic, okay? So we need here three garlic cloves, all right? So just blend, just put inside here. So to blend, um, we, will, we will set to five seconds and then speed five. Once you hear the sound, just tap on the screen or you can just press the knob. Okay, so just five seconds. Okay, so this is quite fine. If you want it finer, you can go to speed six or speed seven, up to you. And if you want to put more garlic, you can also put more garlic. Okay, so always scrape down because now we are going to saute the garlic. Okay. All right. And now we are going to use the weighing function. Okay, so your thermomix comes with a built-in scale. All you have to do is just scroll to this side and you can see the scale button. So this weighing scale is very sensitive. Okay, it's in one gram uh, uh, interval. So when it changes, just press the tear button down here. It will go back to zero. Okay, so if there's like fan on, aircon on, it will move because it's very sensitive. All right, so if you're baking, I always suggest maybe off the fan for a while while you uh, measure your uh, ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to add just 10 grams of oil. Okay, so I'm using here olive oil. Okay. Then now we are going to saute the garlic. Okay, go back to the main screen. We're going to saute for three minutes. Temperature is 120. And speed is speed one. Okay. So just now uh, you see that I, you saw that I use olive oil. Okay, so with Thermomix cooking, it's safe to use olive oil because um, our temperature, our cooking temperature is 120 degrees. Okay, before Thermomix, I didn't know that olive oil is actually toxic and cancerous if you use it on the fire. So before this, I've, I've been using olive oil on the fire. Didn't, I didn't know that it has a low smoking point. Okay, so if you do not know, please don't use olive oil on the fire. Okay, you can use other oils or get your Thermomix and use all the olive oil you want in here. Okay, so olive oil is toxic at high temperature. When we cook on the fire, it's usually about 180 degrees to 200 and it keeps on going up. And it's very hard to control the temperature on when you cook on the fire. Okay, with Thermomix, when you set at 120, it will stay constant at 120. Okay, so here I'm cooking my garlic. If you see, I'm, on, I'm in my dry kitchen. Okay, my kitchen is uh, clean. Okay, there's no oil splattering. I don't have to worry about cleaning and mopping my floor after I cook. Okay, so Thermomix saves time. You don't have to clean much after you cook. You just have to wash just one bowl, okay? If not, just now I have to use my blender and blend my garlic. 
and then I have to use the wok and fry my garlic, right? Okay, and traditional this uh, traditionally this recipe butter and milk chicken you have to deep fry the chicken first, and then you have to saute the rest of the ingredients. Okay, and then after that you fry them together. Okay, so you have to use a few things to make your recipe jadi. Okay, but here you only need just one bowl. Okay. So it's cooking for three minutes now. All right, so one of the main reasons why a lot of people get thermomix is also because of this 120 degrees cooking. Okay, so when you cook your veggie uh, at 120 degrees, you can preserve the nutrients. Okay, so if you cook your broccoli or carrots, you can see once you finish cooking, the color will be very vibrant and you can taste the difference. It's like your veggies are sweet, okay? And when we cook on the fire, usually we have to add um, oyster sauce, everyone's favorite, okay? We add oyster sauce, we add uh, soy sauce, okay? And some people use um, ajinomoto just to get the flavors out. But with Thermomix, you only need a bit of salt, okay? And you can taste the natural flavor of the veggie. Okay, because we buy veggies, we buy the freshest and the greenest veggies. But when we cook on the fire, you can see the color it'll be a bit dull, okay? When it's dull means there are no nutrients left in your veggie for you to absorb. Okay, with Thermomix, you can absorb all the nutrients because we are cooking with low temperature. Okay, and you see here just now I use olive oil. I only use 10 grams of olive oil. When we cook on the fire, sometimes we, we use way too much oil and we don't know actually what's the measurement of oil. Do we need this much? Do we need this much? But with Thermomix, it will tell you exactly how much you need, okay? Which is like just now, just 10 grams. It's not a lot at all, okay? So that's done. We, we're done sorting. Okay, so you can see the color. If we cook three minutes on the fire, it'll be brown, right? Dark brown and you cannot leave the fire. Okay, here, the color is the same, like how it went in and the smell is really, 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 really nice. Okay, so now we are going to add um, lump sugar. Okay, lump sugar is rock sugar. If you don't have lump sugar, it's okay. You can use uh, caster sugar. Okay, so this is um, this is 20 grams. So if you want to weigh, just go back to the scale. Okay, so you can weigh 20 grams. Okay, and then we are going to add the marinated chicken. So this is chicken legs, okay, two chicken legs, around 700 grams, okay, and just pour everything with the marinade. Okay. Then we are going to cook for... Okay, we're going to cook for 15 minutes. Temperature is 120. Okay, now we're going to activate the reverse button, okay? So, reverse and we're going to go to speed spoon, which is the slower speed, okay? So, now I'm going to explain the reverse button, okay? So, our blade has two sides. So, one is the sharp and one is the blunt side, okay? So, when you activate the reverse button, it will stir using the blunt side, okay? So, you must make sure when you cook manually to activate the reverse button, if you are stirring your meat or your veggies, okay? If not, it might cut up your veggie, okay? And a lot of people have uh, experienced this, it's okay. You know, sometimes you forget, but if you experience once, usually you will never forget after that. Okay, so the reverse button is just that small circle on the speed uh, circle there, okay? The small button, okay? So now it's cooking for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna explain about high temperature cooking, okay? With Thermomix, we have low temperature, 120, but we also have high temperature, but high temperature is, is not super high, okay? It's like 160 and 170. So 160, you can do browning, okay? So you can do your breakfast saute mushrooms, okay? It's very nice. Just put the mushroom 20 minutes and it's done, okay? And you can also make your own caramel. You can also make your own lollipops for your kids, okay? Because caramel, I've done it before. Uh, I, I failed twice and then maybe the third time jadi because you cannot control the temperature on the fire. It's very hard to get a constant temperature on the fire. So with Thermomix, when you set at 170, it will stay at 170. So your caramel will definitely jadi, okay? So make sure you try to make your own caramel or do the browning with your Thermomix when you get it. Okay, so we also have other uh, temperature control. Okay, so 
we have 37 degrees. So if you want to heat up your baby food, okay, you can set it to 37 degrees. Or when you cook your, when you make your baby food in here, once it cools down to 37 degrees, then you can serve your baby. So you don't have to put it out, you know, uh, in the open air to let it cool down. So we have also uh, 50 degrees to melt your chocolate. All right. If not, you have to do double boiling, right? So it takes time. And then you can dissolve gelatin at 60. You can make your own sauces, your hollandaise, your mayonnaise, your own ketchup, your own chili sauce, okay, at 70 degrees. And you want to brew your tea and coffee at 80 degrees, okay? So because when you brew your coffee or tea at 100, you know, using your normal kettle, 100 degrees, you are, you are not tasting the best flavor of the coffee and tea, okay? So make sure you try at 80. And then our favorite kaya, you can make it at 90 degrees. 45 minutes, it will just turn and cook for you. You don't even have to attend to it, okay? And normal sorting is 120. And we have browning, like I said, at 160 and caramelizing at 170, okay? So now it's cooking. Um, 12 minutes ago, I will pass to Olivia and then I will come back later and show you the last step, okay? See you. Hello everyone, uh, Happy New Year, I'm Olivia. So today we're going to do some uh, cooking together and uh, I'd like to show you how to do multi-layer cooking. So for those of you who are working from home and are juggling with kids as well, this is very convenient because the multi-layer cooking, if you have only 20 minutes, you can actually have a complete meal and I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So um, we have this simmering basket. So I've actually uh, placed one cup of rice in here. So you can cook up to three cups of rice, which is uh, 300 grams. So this is the measuring cup. So I normally use this to measure. So you can cook up to 300 grams of rice with the simmering basket. But if you have, uh, say, uh, more people at home, you can actually cook uh, up to 500 grams of rice without the basket, okay? Just directly in the mixing bowl and uh, using the rice cooker mode, okay? So today I'm going to use um, the simmering basket to cook um, one cup of rice. And the benefit of cooking rice with Thermomix is that it actually can help you reduce the starch. As we know, um, as we know rice, there is starch, okay? Even if you're cooking basmati rice or even brown rice, there's also starch. Okay, so I really love um, using Thermomix to cook rice. So you place the, the grains, the washed grains in the mixing bowl, okay, with the basket. So I'll place the uh, water. Okay, so the water level, uh, normally for me, I would, um, you can weigh, we have recipes for cooking rice. So it will tell you exactly how much water to put, but I'm going to um, put it, place the, the water which is the same level as the grains okay and next is okay so this is called uh, varoma okay so varoma means steaming so i'm going to place this um, my dishes in here okay so the bottom layer i have here um, chicken chopped chicken okay so very important when you steam do not block the holes here, okay? Because when you block the holes here, the steam cannot um, go through, okay? So your food will, will be undercooked, okay? So very important is that you can get a stainless steel stand to place inside, or I'm using a plate here, which has this um, stainless steel uh, kind of thing to, um, to actually uh, raise up the dish, okay? So that it does not block the holes, okay? And today I'm gonna to be cooking a steamed herbal chicken. So I'm going to have, I'm going to place some um, ginger here, ginger slices on top, okay? And then I also have uh, angelica root. Very easy, just go to the Chinese medical hall and uh, let them know you want to get this. It's called the angelica uh, root, okay? So in uh, Cantonese, it's called tong kui, okay? So I'm going to place this right on top. And some goji berries. So this is also a very common ingredient when you cook Chinese soups and uh, Chinese dishes. So I'm going to place it on top. And not to forget, um, before that, you also need to season the, 
dish, as in the chicken with some um, salt, okay? And also you can put a little bit of soy sauce if you want, okay? And on the top tier, I'm going to place the tofu. So I have here soft tofu. I'm going to place it right on top here. And I'm going to steam everything together. Okay, so I'm going to stack on. So as you can see, when you stack on, you actually remove the, the MC cup, okay? To stack on. Right, so I'm going to cook this for about 20 minutes at Varoma temperature because you want to steam, okay? And the speed, I will go on speed two, okay? So while it's steaming, what you can do is go take a shower. Um, you can also, um, you know, probably watch some TV, okay? You can actually multitask while it's cooking. So you do not need to be standing here supervising and, um, you know, watching it cook like the traditional way, okay? So you can be doing other things while it's cooking, okay? So I'm going to be steaming the rest of the molds, okay? So you can also cook things like a Hainanese chicken rice in 20 minutes. So you will steam the rice here, steam the chicken, and then on top you can steam um, steam eggs, tofu, or any other dishes. You can even steam fish as well on the top layer, okay? So this is what we call multi-layer cooking. Okay. So with the Thermomix, there are over 20 functions and more, okay? Why? Because the Smart at Heart Kitchen, um, because the Thermomix TM6, there's a software update. So from time to time, you will get new updates, okay? It will prompt you on your screen, would you like to update your software? So make sure you update to the latest software and some softwares will require uh, about uh, maybe, some which is fast, about five minutes, but sometimes it might take longer. So be patient and wait for it to fully uh, upload, okay? And there are a lot of uh, new modes which are up and coming. Okay, so we have here kettle mode. Okay, so what is a kettle mode? So sometimes when you're brewing your tea, your coffee, normally um, your kettle, you will boil water, which is until 100 degrees. But our kettle mode is very special. So you can actually boil water from 37 to 100 degrees. Okay, and um, you can even have very precise temperature. So for example, if you were to brew your green tea, your Chinese tea, you can actually boil water up to, 50, uh, up to 75 degrees. So you place in the water, go to the kettle mode and set at 70, 75 degrees. And when the temperature reaches 75 degrees, it will automatic, automatically cut off, okay? So you get very uh, precise temperature um, uh, water. And then for brewing your coffee, it's 95 degrees, all right? And next here, we have um, slow cook mode. So you can slow cook for up to eight hours, okay? And you can control the temperature from 37 to 98 degrees. So normally when you want to braise your meat, you know, braise lamb shanks, duck, you know, for Chinese New Year coming soon, you can braise duck, you can braise um, anything, okay? And anything you want to slow cook, it can be up to eight hours. So you can actually set it, you know, if you want to braise, for example, um, certain meats for like five hours, so you just need to preset and we have a lot of recipes on cookie dough. So you just follow step by step and then you can uh, walk away and five hours later, your dish is done. Okay? So you do not need to, you know, like uh, what you do traditionally, you will actually open up your pot and see if there's still liquid or sometimes you will be stirring uh, regularly to make sure that uh, it does not stick to the pot or it will not burn. So with the thermal mix, you are rest assured that you get perfect results. Okay? And we also have a uh, fermentation mode. So for those of you who like to eat uh, fresh yogurt, so at night you can make, um, make yogurt before you go to sleep and right in the morning you get fresh yogurt. So we have a lot of recipes on cookie dough as well. We have fruit yogurt, we have um, plain yogurt, we have a lot of uh, variation which you can try, okay? So this is one of the first things you should try when you get your thermal mix. And we have sous vide. So for those of you who do not know what sous vide is, so sous vide is actually a, a French method of cooking to preserve the nutrients of your meat, your food. So for example, um, like if you were to go to a Western restaurant, normally you would order meat. So the meat example like beef or chicken or fish, they will actually place um, the meat in actually 
uh, bags like this. It can be a bag like this or any Ziploc bag. So always remember to get uh, BPA free. So the brand I use is called Glad. Okay, and you will see a BPA free uh, word here right on the on the box. So very important to get BPA free plastics. Okay, so you actually place it in here, the meat, and you would actually put it inside the thermal mix. Um, to cook for, uh, for long hours, okay? So this is actually a way of cooking, a water bath method. So your meat inside, it turns out to be tender. And after cooking that, you will actually um, sear it over the pan to get it a bit, um, you know, brownish on the, on the sides, okay? So it's excellent. Um, it retains the moisture and the meat turns out to be soft and tender, okay? So when you get your thermal mix, you should also try the sous vide mode because to get a sous vide machine, it actually costs a few thousand, okay? So right now, your sous vide machine is also built in already, okay? So very convenient. Okay, so what are the benefits of cooking with thermal mix? Well, it's quick and easy, and uh, everyone can cook, okay? Because we have a lot of recipes, 65,000 recipes for you to explore. And it's healthy because we cook with less oil, um, we are able to control the ingredients of what we eat. Like for example, if you eat out, you know, they use, normally use recycled oil and a lot of MSG in our food, a lot of preservatives, and we do not know what is in our food. But when we cook at home, it is definitely healthy because we are the ones who are cooking and we know what is in it, okay? And you like that it cooks for you, also cooking, okay? So right now while I'm sharing with you, it's actually cooking for me. And just now you saw how... Um, how Sunita make the bread, it is really effortless, okay? And it's just two, three minutes of dough kneading and you are not sweating and um, you are not actually using your hands to knead the dough. The thermal mix does it for you. And um, Ezrin also showed us how to do the buttermilk chicken and look at the chef dressed up nicely and she's not sweating and the tabletop is also very clean. And we are actually cooking, not in our kitchen, as in hot toiling kitchen, we're actually cooking, I'm actually cooking in uh, next, right next to my dining table. Okay, so I have an island here, I have an air condition right in front of me, and I'm cooking and I'm uh, not sweating and I'm also um, chit-chatting with you at the same time. And after cooking, what we dislike most is the cleaning part, okay? And the thermal mix will solve this for us, okay? So there's also pre-clean mode which you put in water, a litre of water in the mixing bowl, a few squirts of detergent and let it run on the pre-clean mode and you will get a very clean bowl, even your, uh, whether it's dough kneading, whether you're cooking curries, uh, creamy food, a lot of oils um, you know, stuck on the sides of the bowl, it will actually clean it because we have four different pre-clean modes for dough, for everything else, for you know, if you have a lot of uh, oil, all the fats, it will clean. And another mode is to clean, um, you know, sometimes when you're browning, because we have high temperature as well, at 170 degrees, sometimes when you're browning certain things, there's uh, probably some dark spots, uh, stains, which are in there, it will also clean it for you, okay? And of course, it saves space. Imagine today you have 20 over kitchen appliances right on your countertop. You will need a lot of storage, okay? So now Thermomix, my steamer is here, my rice cooker is here, and uh, I can also cook soup with it. So all my ice cream maker, all the functions is right in here, okay? And I use it for breakfast, for lunch, dinner, and also tea time, okay? And it saves space, okay? Because I will always put it on my countertop. But if today I'll, I have 20 over kitchen appliances, I would really need a lot of storage because if I have bought an ice cream maker, I will not eat ice cream every day. So it gets... You, I will need the space to store that ice cream maker, okay? So very convenient. And goodbye to cooking fumes. So I'm cooking now and there's no fumes at all. And I don't even need a kitchen hood here, okay? So thank you so much. Um, after this, I will show you the outcome of um, the three-in-one meal. So right now, I'll pass it back to Ping Ping. Thank you. But before I pass it to Ping Ping, um, Ashley would like to show us the buttermilk chicken. Okay, hi again. Okay, so the chicken is cooked. Okay, so when it's hot, right, when you want to open this, just make sure you turn it away from you, okay, quickly. Okay, and then now the last step, we're going to add salted butter. So this is 80 grams of salted butter. Okay, so I've pre-weigh everything, but if you cook at home, you can just weigh as you go, okay. 
Okay, and then we have here evaporated milk, 150 grams. Okay. And here, uh, some curry leaves and it says two uh, chili padi, but I've only put one and most of the seeds are gone because only I eat um, spicy food, a bit of spicy food in this house. Okay. And then now we are going to cook for additional five minutes. And then temperature is Varoma. And then remember to on the reverse button and put it a uh, speed is spoon. <laughs> okay. So what is Varoma? Okay, Varoma, uh, there's two functions for Varoma. One is to steam, like uh, what Olivia is doing. She's steaming the chicken and the, um, uh, what's that? Okay, never mind, on top. Okay, tofu, okay, tofu on top. And another function for Varoma is to thicken the sauce. Okay, so now what it's doing is, is thickening the sauce that's inside here. Okay, so it usually takes about three to five minutes. So let's say you cook something and then you want to thicken the sauce. You can remove the chicken or the meat inside once you're done cooking. And then you cook using Varoma function for three to five minutes if you want the sauce to be thicker. Okay, so now it's cooking for four minutes. I'll pass to Ping Ping and I'll show you the results later. See you. Okay, exciting cooking, right? Cannot imagine that cooking can be done so easily. And I think you were also observing how the cooking, when we were doing cooking together, in fact, we didn't need to be there to do the stirring. You know, we do not need to be lingering in the kitchen. We can actually spend the quality time with families and that's what we can enjoy at home. So I'd like to share with you, how would you be able to start using a thermometer? How would you be able to own one? Okay, at the moment now, we're running a special promotion for the new year and also the coming Chinese new year. Um, the Thermomix now, you can enjoy a Thermomix at 6988, having the 200 ringgit voucher in hand, immediately deducting the price from 7188 to only 6988. And at the same time, when you purchase a thermomix now you will also come with a purchase and hosting gift which is a one liter thermal server and a one year free cookie do subscription one whole year of subscription worth 160 ringgit okay plus a one liter thermal server so i'd like to share with you uh show you how a thermal server looks like this is a two liter thermal server so what you get think is a one liter Similar to this, and uh, you could see that it is a stainless steel bowl, insulated stainless steel. And the best part is it is one whole piece that it doesn't have any drawing. Okay, so one whole piece of stainless stainless steel comes with a serving tray and also a lid to cover your food. So, you know, when you start to use the thermomix, you always start with one machine first. So after cooking your chicken, for example, uh, right, and then you want to move on to cook your vegetables. You can always place the chicken into the thermal server to keep it warm. So it is a wonderful accessory to help to keep your food warm or cold. It can also be a wonderful incubator for your tofu pa or for your yogurt. Uh, you can also keep your salad crispy cold in the thermal server. All right, so it's a really wonderful. Um, accessory to have along with your thermomix and at the same time remember on top of that you will also be enjoying one year of free cookie dough accessing to 65,000 recipes now isn't that wonderful and you can also opt for um, either full payment or financing financing you can opt for 24 months it's also interest free up to 24 months working out to only 291 ringgit a month and nine ringgit a day, only nine ringgit a day for your entire family, whether you want to cook three meals a day, five meals a day, you know, seven days a week of wonderful healthy recipes, 365 days of wonderful cooking for your entire family for only nine ringgit a day, right? And uh, on top of the gift that I've shared just now, if you're going for full payment, you will also be having a choice of a cookbook. So, you could go for the vegan cookbook, which I don't have a sample here, or easy meal or Malay kitchen. Okay, so you can also have an additional cookbook of your choice. All right.
Okay, so the complete package comes with all the accessories that we introduced just now. And there is also something called the butterfly, which is good for whipping. Um, there's also the splash pad for high temp. And um, when you receive your thermomix, you will also, before, when you place your order, sorry, when you place your order with your advisor, you will also need to let your advisor know whether you prefer an English version basic cookbook that comes together with the thermomix or a Chinese version. Okay, so we will be able to offer the right package for you. The package comes all the way pre-packed from Germany. So we will need to select the right package for you. So remember to let your advisor know whether you prefer the English version or Chinese version. The Thermomix itself can be set to any languages of your choice after that as well. Okay, on top of that, when you receive the Thermomix, do contact your advisor for an unboxing service where they will be there in your home and we will be cooking the dishes that of your choice. For example, if you see that you like Sunita's Hawaiian bread today, you could say that, hey, when I receive my Thermomix, I would like to make some bread. And if you're not too sure of what ingredients to get, we can also advise you and guide you to find the ingredients. And during the unboxing session itself, it will be your personalized hands-on session that we will guide you through the entire recipe and also teach you on how to care for your Thermomix that it lasts for the next 15 to 20 years of your cooking journey. Okay, so remember to book your unboxing session with your advisor, all right? Now, there is also something called the Thermomix Career, which I would love to share this part with you because I personally have been enjoying this career journey with the Thermomix. Um, started like yourself as a viewer, becoming a user. And I thought, hey, it's a wonderful thing to share, right? And if you could, if you're interested in what we're doing today, you can in fact embark on this journey together with us to share this wonderful thermomics with your close friends and families, and at the same time, doing it as a career or a part-time business, okay? It is very flexible, and uh, you would be mingling with among a group of people who love to cook, thereby giving you even more recipe ideas and cooking ideas. So if you love to explore this, please let us know, let your advisor know they will be setting another session with you to discuss the details of the thermomics. Okay, so we hope that after you have viewed today's session, you found that it is useful, um, that you have learned a lot of uh, functions about thermomics. How did you like today's um, um, session? Can you key in uh, to our chat room? You know, what is your favorite recipe that you have seen today? Is it the bread? Is it the three in one that you really, you know, could save time when you could cook your rice and steam something on top, and then you found that that is a wonderful solution for your daily cooking needs? Or is it the butter chicken that's like, wow, you normally have that in the restaurant and you can actually cook it at home so easily? So which are the recipes that you love? Now, if you found that our session today is fruitful, is enjoyable for you and your family, please share this experience with your close friends and families because we do have this session every week, every Saturday, and uh, we do change the recipes, sharing different recipes that you can actually enjoy at home, okay? So if you do have friends and families, please bring them here together with us every Saturday morning, and, um, and let them explore. Perhaps it could be a wonderful thing that you can start to use at home, and, because of you, they are able to put quality food on the table for their loved ones. All right, so um, I'm going to pass the screen around to Sunita and then also to Olivia to show you their final cooking, the end of the final cooking results. Hey, I was spot like Sunita. Yeah, can you show your bread? Yeah. So, this is the bread. <laughs> so that's the bread. And that's the ginger beer that has been further diluted with the soda water. So you can actually prep it and keep the concentrate in the fridge and then just add the fizzy soda water when you're going to serve the drink. 
they can actually prep it ahead. Yeah, and, and it's really, really uh, what a wonderful combination, right? Getting a ginger ale outside is really expensive. Ginger beer, ginger beer. Ginger beer at home, yeah. You know, when we do it, buy it from outside, it's actually quite expensive. So you can actually yes. do it easily at home with your freshest ingredients. Yeah. And Sunita, how's the bread? Have you tried it? Have you tasted it? Show you the texture of the bread. So it's really soft. Wow. And and it's a it's a sweet bread because it's got the pineapple juice in it, so you can just eat it on its own or with butter, yeah, and or I whatever see, spread. Whenever she makes bread, you can imagine the aroma that fills her entire home. Right? And the family when they come back, you know, you, you, you will be like enveloped with wonderful bread aroma, baking aroma at home, and I'm sure you would love to have that. As well. And now uh, we will move on to Olivia with uh, a main course that you could also be enjoying at home. Okay, so the steaming is done, the rice is done at the same time. Okay, hello everyone. So now um, the tofu is done. So I'm, I'm going to pour some black bean sauce. So this sauce is very easy to make. All you need to do is um, chop some ginger and um, garlic, okay? Stir fry with a little bit of oil. Then you add the black beans and you have uh, soy sauce and a bit of oyster sauce. Mix it together, okay? And then I'm gonna pour it all on top here. Wow. Okay, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of spring onion. Okay. And I have here the herbal steamed chicken. Okay, just to show you. Okay, the herbal steamed chicken here. And right inside here, I have my steamed rice. So you use the spatula to help you to remove the basket because it's hot. Be very careful with it. Okay, so the steamed rice is ready. And I love cooking rice with the Thermomix because it turns out to be very soft and fluffy, okay? So I'll just show it to you. Give it a mix. Okay, look how soft and fluffy it is. Okay. And right inside here, if you can see, the white milky liquid is actually the starchy water inside. So for adults, we would want to eliminate the starch. But for children, they need the carbs. So what you can do with the liquid inside here, you can actually do a very simple soup. Add some homemade chicken stock powder. So we actually make our own chicken stock powder with the thermal mix. So you add some chicken stock powder, you can do a very simple ABC soup by adding potatoes, carrot, onions and uh, to tomato. So it's about 15 minutes, you can serve um, the ABC soup to your kids or you can actually do a simple spinach soup, you know, by adding the chicken stock powder as well and uh, the vegetables and it also takes about 10-15 minutes to prepare. So I hope you will try this recipe, very simple um, and uh, Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll pass it back to Ping Ping. Yeah. Get your hands on your thermomix and start to, start to cook well and cook well with the whole family. And we wish for it all Are we going to see Ezrin's done chicken? Oh, yeah. Ezrin. She hasn't shown her butter chicken. Hey, you're on mute. Okay. 
So I'll show you the chicken closely. Okay, can you see? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> smells so good okay so you have to try because it's so easy okay look at that so yummy okay make sure you get your thermal mix and try this recipe and i like the fact that when you cook this with thermal mix compared to eating it outside usually when it's served outside it's very greasy yeah mm. you don't see that in home cooking and now uh, we have, I'd like to wish all of you a good year ahead and please reach out to your advisors, get your thermomics soon and we would love to have all of you to start cooking with us and have a wonderful healthy year for yourself and your family. Till next round, please remember to share your current experience with your friends and we would love to see you and your friends next week. All right, bye-bye for now and bye everyone. Bye. Bye.